Welcome to another edition of JTJU, where we all try to be just a little better at the game of Clash of Clans. We've got a Mice and Men screencast up for you from our last war against Team China. We won 110 to 55, I think, or some crazy number like that. But Swoop versus Slot 43 is the battle that we planned out, so let's first take a look at Slot 43's base. Okay, so here's the base. It's a Town Hall 7, not too impressive. Level 4 mortars. And level 3 air defense, and uh, level 7, level 7 archer and mortar cannons, and a level 8 cannon. So, as usual though, what we really want to do is take those numbers and take it and compare the two. Attacking force versus defensive force. It looks like this. So yellow is attacking, purple is defensive. You can see there that there's about a one level advantage to swoop up on slot 43. But the biggest advantage is right here on the uh, air defense. Um, two level gap so probably an air attack is what we want to target and with that in mind here was the plan we laid out so typical T-duck from the beginning trigger drag distract and circle kill this clan castle troops that steps A B and then the X there uh, but once we get to that point then we actually move into the main attack which is from point C that's half of the balloons get deployed into that and then you would raid spell in to get past the wizard tower and then a little tweak there as it engages that whiz tower you drop the clan castle hogs from D up there at 10 o'clock and then drop a heal on that allowing the two to work in combination and then come in with your last half of your balloons from point E uh, so they would route around the other side and, and raid spell there after that then you're just kind of doing cleanup uh, with F and G G being where you drop archers to clean up the outside stuff and see how it goes uh, but really, plans are great, but how did it actually work in the battle? Let's take a look. And it starts out, as all battles do, kind of warring, where we try to trigger, because that's what that giant's doing right there, trigger and get the clan castle troops out, and, and that worked just fine. And we got that going on. And so then he drops, as you can barely see it down there, but that, at 6 o'clock that archer's pinging away on that uh, army camp, dragging the wiz wizards down low. Now he circle kills the, the wizards, but if we would have had a distract there, he wouldn't have lost as many. It's a close call because you watch, he loses about five archers out of that battle. So I'd actually say it was a pride bit. It worked out. And then now we're going to the main attack, and this is where it gets interesting. Okay, so the Tesla Towers are not what I'm saying is the interesting part. They handle that, they move on, they're now on the right path that we were predicting. We rage them in, but watch the hogs as they come from top. Issue number one. They go in where we wanted, they're sitting on the corner where we wanted them, but now they split and actually go to the two cannons instead of coming to the air defense to help the balloons. Why did that happen? Let's take a look and see. All right, it's time for some hog theory. So you can see here a picture of the hogs coming in and then the green arrow show where they went and the gray arrow pointing straight down is where we wanted them to go. And you can notice if you look at the numbers, that represents length, unit of measure is irrelevant, let's call it bananas. But the link down was actually a shorter distance than the link either direction. And that's the core question. I mean, the fact that they split up is probably because the links between the two green arrows is almost the same, so I think they do a coin flip in that consideration. But you, one of the big things you notice from this is that it has a wall for the one that hits to the right, to 251.8. And so if some people say, well, I think hogs will avoid walls, or they'll try to go through open gaps, over shorter distances, well then this wouldn't work because the hogs went over that wall versus going straight down. So then the question is really, well why why didn't they go down? And if you remember from the map, the thing that was straight down was an air defense tower. And so the theory that I'm putting out there is that the hogs actually prioritize what's shooting them. Makes sense, right? I'd ride my hog at whatever's shooting at me. And so they headed for the cannons. The air defense was not posing any threat, so they ignore it and prioritize what's going to hit them. So in the future, we'll continue to watch for that and see if that really impacts padding. But I think that's why the hogs went the way they did versus our planned padding. Given that, let's get back to the video. And lo and behold, we come right back. And what do we get? Another padding problem. We wanted the balloons to go to the actual wizard tower, and they don't. They go down to the cannon. What happened? All right, let's take a look. So with this one, here's what I thought was going to happen, right? So balloons, everybody, like I thought, balloons hover right over the middle of the thing. Well, in reality, they don't. They do exactly the same padding concept as like hogs. They go to a corner, and then that's where you should cover your distance from. So in that case, if you went from the corner, you can see why it went to the cannon, because it's shorter. Duh. 
Alright, back to the video. So let's speed it up because now the battle's over, really. The wizard tower is going to hammer the heck out of those balloons and take them down. You've still got an air defense tower and a whiz tower up, and all you got left are air based units, so you're toast. Sorry about it, Swivel. Two main mistakes in the attack plan leads to death for you. With that said, not a bad attempt. You did execute the plan well. So, till next time, good luck with your wars, and as always, clash on.